With the Kenobi series less than a week away, today I'm going over an important topic, which is what the series means for Star Wars fans as a In whole. In this series, we aren't just seeing the return of fan favorite characters, such as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. We are seeing two characters and many others that we are very, very emotionally attached to as a fan base. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. It is the lens which we view these characters and how this show is important for framing how we view Whenever them. any quote-unquote legacy character appears, it's always an interesting concept. Legacy characters essentially being characters from like the original trilogy, even prequel era now, which are well-established and loved by fans. I would describe that as well-established fan favorite characters from before Disney bought the franchise. So for example, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ahsoka Tano, all of them would be legacy characters. And all of these people have appeared in shows and movies from Han Solo Day and his own spinoff to Ahsoka and Luke appearing in The Mandalorian to now Kenobi Day and his own series with Hayden returning the as The most Andy. important thing, in my opinion, in regards to the series and how it relates to how we view these legacy characters is lots of times we have had in our minds what we wished was true. The stories we wanted to see. And that distracted us from the stories we were actually getting. Like, that's the main thing with loot in The Last Jedi. These people had 40 some years of stories built up in their head of what they thought his life would be like after Return of the Jedi. And Ryan Johnson came and made what he thought was the best possible story for Luke after Return of the Jedi. He went in his own unique direction because the main criticism of The Force Awakens was it was essentially a rehash of A New Hope. Johnson goes in the opposite direction and people had a very adverse reaction to that because they wanted to essentially see a rehash of the Thrawn trilogy where Luke was this just bigger than life figure. And Many people were very, very upset that that's not what we got. In this Kenobi series, in my opinion, no matter how good it is, there's going to be people upset because it isn't the story they had in their minds for what they wanted it to be. Yes, for example, there's a Kenobi book in Legends. And I'm sure lots of the story beats that will appear in the Kenobi show will be taken from that book. But it's not going to be an exact rehash of that book. For example, the third sister, the new Inquisitor is gonna be in there, Reva. Fifth brother, Grand Inquisitor. Presumably the fourth sister was the other Inquisitor seen in the trailer. It, there are new elements that are being brought into the show. This is why I think the show is so important because we need as a fan base to be more accepting of the shows we get, the stories we get, the movies we get, instead of just the movies we want to get. Yes, obviously, the whole reason we're getting a Kenobi show is because fans desperately wanted it. But we can't pigeonhole ourselves into this is the only acceptable way to do the Kenobi show. An example would be the book of Boba Fett. Yes, lots of people criticized it for, yeah, this isn't the best Boba Fett story. I agree with that. For example, two of the episodes hardly showed Boba Fett. However, it's still a great show overall, and I don't suspect Kenobi will have that same show. There's six episodes of Kenobi. They're gonna be fairly focused, almost, a, no, they're gonna be 100% focused on Kenobi's story. And it's gonna be great, I have faith. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this take in regards to what I think is the most important part of the Kenobi series. I hope you all have a great day, and stay blessed, everybody.